duo. Joining us now, Governor Mike Huckabee, former Arkansas governor. He's getting his turn tonight here on Your Money, Your Vote. Mr. Huckabee, great to see you. Can I ask you, this was an odd thing. There was a, a whole flurry of discussion towards the end of the debate about unions. And many of the mm -hmm. Republican candidates went out of their way to praise unions. But I want to take a different side here. I think this union idea of a card check replacing the secret ballot is a dreadful idea. They're against paycheck protection, and by and large, they're against Labor Department oversight. Jack Welch, legendary CEO of General Electric, has been on this program, and he's saying if unions have their way, they'll set back American competitiveness by 50 years. What's your take on this? Well, I don't think union members ought to be forced to make political contributions they don't personally want to make. Uh, I, too, come from a right-to-work state. I believe people ought to have the opportunity to join a union but shouldn't be forced to. Uh, people should make their union votes on secret ballots. I agree with all of that. What Republicans had better understand is that when there's a growing disparity between the pay of the people at the top and the people at the bottom, you're going to create the kind of environment in which unions are going to flourish. So if if Republicans and CEO types and boards are afraid of unions, they better start sharing the wealth. That's not happening in many companies. You have people who at the bottom end are taking 40, 30 percent pay cuts, people at the top getting $100 million bonuses. That is a recipe for seeing a huge swift, uh, uh, rather shift, back to a very vibrant uh, labor union market. Well, I appreciate the points you're making about unequal distribution. I'm not sure I understand your share of the wealth. That doesn't sound much like a capitalist proposition. What are your proposals no, it, no, to no, deal no. with unequal income? Well, it's not a government issue. It's a matter that boards of directors ought to be looking at this from the standpoint of attracting, keeping, and trying to make sure that they uh, are able to maintain the best employees they can. And if they do that, they're going to have strong companies. Now, one of the reasons that a lot of companies are seeing this is because of the full deductibility of a CEO salary. And there's an issue here if we would change the tax system where we do not tax anybody's income, whether they're the CEO or the guy who's starting out working in the mailroom. Stop the taxation system we have, replace it with the consumption tax. Everybody benefits and there's no more penalization on uh, the productivity of a worker or a company. If we can do that, we finally start seeing that the competitiveness comes back, but it comes back helping everybody up and down the food chain. With, with these concerns you're expressing about CEO pay and wage inequality and so forth, do you think the American economy is in decline? No, the economy overall from a macro sense is not. Now, from a micro sense, Larry, this is my point, even on that stage today, with the time that I had to express it. When you talk to a worker who's just lost his job, and he's lost a job that paid him 60000 but the only job that he can go out there and find is going to give him fifteen, he's not going to show up as an unemployed person. So the stats look good, but he's not really being able to take care of the family of four that he had on 15000 like he did at sixty. so he's employed not once but twice in the marketplace. This is not a government issue. Government can't go in and start saying you can't pay your CEOs more than X dollars. I don't want government uh, messing and it up even more than they have. I appreciate that. Just in the last few moments, sir, and appreciate your thoughts. Uh, you and I talked about the fair tax a uh, month or two ago, right. uh, national consumption tax. Can you just real briefly, you're still with it, you're still going to run on it? More than ever, Larry, because I'm just seeing an incredible uh, disconnect between the American economy and our capacity to compete with the world. When European or Asian uh, companies can ship goods into the United States tax-free, but when we have to sell inside our own country, there's an 18 to 22 percent embedded tax in everything. It's a miracle we have any American manufacturing jobs left. That's what we have to change, and we can with the fair tax. All right. Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate it.